Welcome back, y'all. We just hopped out of Field and Stream, and we got the new clickbaits. Time for the review. Yoo Ryan Ridge is with us. We got the clickbaits, boy. Snap. Yep. I figured, I figured I'd leave a couple on the shelf for you. So I just got I just got the patent pending vibrating jig. I got white and chartreuse and blue crawl, different sizes too. Y'all gotta check out Ryan Rigg, by the way. He's hopping to the ponds with us. We're gonna tear him up on the clickbaits, but first we gotta go get him some. So let's hop back in the store and uh, see what colors he wants, man. They all look so good, that's the problem. I wanted all of them. Yeah, oh yeah, they all look too good. We hear it. Spot number one, man. I'm gonna show you guys how to rig these things up real quick. My preferred method, my preferred knot, line, rod, reel. What am I missing? I don't know. Trailer. Let's talk about it. All right, y'all. All things clickbait. Let's talk about it. Let's start from the rod. I'm gonna recommend a seven foot to seven foot four medium heavy fast action rod. You don't need anything too crazy light. I'll tell you why. If you got something like a soft or a slow taper. Good audio. Great audio. Yeah, that's the truck. It stopped right in front of us. This is excellent. Should I just keep playing with this rod tip? All right, so let's hit that attempt with a rebate. Yeah, if you've got a real soft tip, meaning this is gonna bend nice and easy and be slow to return, a slower tip, that's generally reserved for your treble hook baits. You want something a little bit more stout when you're talking about a hook set with a larger single hook like the clickbait has. Line, I'd recommend 15 pound fluorocarbon for just about all around use, but especially with something like the clickbait, it's gonna excel. Uh, I'd drop it down to as low as 10 pound line where the fish might be very line shy or you just got open water and not a lot of opportunity for these fish to snap you off and cover. But again, those hook sets you gotta think about. I like the reassurance of heavier line. I'm oftentimes fishing around cover, so I would go with something like 15 pound, 20 at the absolute heaviest if you're on the thick stuff, but I, I would say 15 is great. For the reel, seven two to one is fantastic. Uh, if you've got a slower gear ratio reel, you're gonna have to wind this a little bit faster to get the same retrieve, but it's nothing major. And if you've got an extra high gear ratio reel, that's fine. You can just slow it down a little bit, but 7.2 to 1 is fantastic. When it comes to trailers, I'm only going to throw out two options. These are probably going to be what you see me throw with this bait as the trailer. 90% of the time you ever see me toss this thing. In fact, I would say probably 100% of the time. I'm going to throw it with a Yodo worm today because it had some unparalleled action like I have never seen before in the Catch Cove release video. So I'm going to absolutely pair up this 3 8 ounce blue craw color with the Electric Shad Yoda Worm by 10,000 Fish. You guys can grab all this stuff at Carl's Bait and Tackle. By the way, they're gonna sell out. It's Christmas time. If you want the clickbaits, you literally gotta get there like before this video was posted probably. Then I've got the half ounce clickbait. I got in the white chartreuse color, which I'm gonna pair with something like a saucy swimmer. You guys are probably gonna throw something along these lines, a soft plastic swim bait, smaller in size with the clickbait more frequently. So this has to be mentioned. They've just got an excellent kick. You guys probably already have some in your tackle box, making it very simple to just toss on the back of your clickbaits. But don't for, but don't think I won't be throwing. Come on, birds! I'm trying to film. But don't think I won't be throwing. Is this a joke, Ryan? Are you getting this audio? <laughs> but don't think I won't be throwing some saucy swimmers on the back of the natural colors as well. We're just gonna mix it up today. We're gonna try and catch some fish. Conditions are not necessarily extremely favorable. We've got bluebird skies, y'all. Absolutely a fisherman's favorite. And I think that covers just about everything aside from fishing it, which is probably what you clicked on this video to watch. So we're gonna get right to it. Let me tie this thing up. Palomar knot. Palomar all the way. If you want to go simple, do uni. Very simple knot. I've got a video on the Palomar and why I think it's my favorite, but let's go ahead and rig it up and get fishing. Carl's bait and tackle. Extendable clippers. Oh my gosh, you cannot beat these things. Slice through braid like no other fluoro, mono, don't matter. Guggen Squad money bags for all your plastics. Get you some of those on Carl's bait and tackle. They literally got everything you need. They're doing the biggest sale of the year right now, man. You got to go check it out. Carl's bait and tackle. So I'm just going to go ahead and risk it with the blue crawl and I'm going to put on a Yoda worm. And we're going to see how this thing uh, scurries. It looks almost like it's got the action of a, a scrounger. Oh my god. Ooh, sharp hooks. I don't know if you guys have ever seen a scrounger head, but it's got some action like that. It's going to absolutely make these Yoda worms go crazy off the back. We're going to get to that in just a second. But check these things out. The beads creating a little bit of sound to go with the vibration in the water, really bringing the fish in from a far distance. But then the natural color is going to secure them. They're going to think this thing's a bluegill on the run. Line that thing up real quick so I can see exactly where I need to exit the bait to get the hook right. All 
All right, man, she's rigged and looking spectacular. Look at that little shenaniganry I pulled, too. I got that lighter color on the bottom to match the skirt with the darker green on top to match the skirt. I mean, God, you boys killing it. All right, we're in action, man. And how are we gonna spot these fish, you might ask? Well, look no further than the gill goggles, baby. Polarized and on the cheap at Carl's Bait and Tackle, like everything else, holy plug. I have gone crazy in this video, haven't I? I'm trying to get you guys these deals. You know, they're talking about how like, if you don't order stuff by, if you don't order stuff very soon, you're pretty much not gonna get it in time for Christmas. Amazon's not uh, guaranteeing deliveries if you order after. I gotta really figure out this date. I might have to look it up real quick because it's sounding like uh, you gotta hustle on your Christmas orders. And my gosh, does this thing look good. Wow, this is, I mean, this is sick. Oh my gosh. If a fish doesn't bite this fairly quick, I'm moving ponds. A great strategy with the clickbait, you guys, and I would highly suggest this for ponds, is just kind of walk around it, cover some new water, cast it about a 45, and kind of stick to the shallows. That is gonna be where this thing excels. All right, y'all, we're making a move. It's a 20 minute jump, sunsets in like 40, so we're gonna have almost no time to fish, but cut this off real quick. I'm gonna use the shad one at the next spot. Seems like it's a little off today, huh? You usually fish here? You wanna take one of these clickbaits, man? <laughs> you can have that, dude. Have a good one, man. All right, let's go. All right, y'all, we're making the move. I definitely won't have too much time to re-rig before there's absolutely zero light. So I'm just gonna find that clickbait and see if I can tie this Palomar knot at the stoplights. This footage is either performed by a professional or under the supervision of professionals. So please do not attempt any stunter activity performed on this vlog. Half ounce, baby. That's what I want. Where's the sauce? Got it. Have you ever had a good idea when you're filming a video? Sick. We're stopped. Get the line. This ain't gonna work. Whoop. Got it. She's rigged with a 10 minute drive left to go. All right, man, we have arrived. We have got to get to it. The sun is going down and the bite is probably hot. Trailers in hand. Ryan rigged, are you ready, sir? Yeah. Let's get it, he says. That's what I like to hear. I don't even think I need anything but the pole, do I? No, this should be like out like a light. If they don't hit here, then my video is going to suck. But what's new, you know what I mean? Okay. And I'm down to one clickbait because I done gave the other one away. So we better make something happen with this. Let's grab the big camera, forget the drop shot. I got a feeling the bite's about to get heavy. Heavy, heavy as in half ounce instead of three eighth ounce. Heavy, that's what I'm talking about. Security might be heavy too, who knows? <laughs> da, 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 da. All right, line the bait up. Got to know right where I need to exit. On. Dude, drag's not set, rookie mistake. Let me come in there and save you. Don't worry, I'll get the fish you can't catch. What's gonna win, the clickbait or the clickbait? Y'all comment down below. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> They're on fire. It's 1v1 ultimate clickbait battle. Ryan's on with the first one of the night. All right, guys, just got the first one of the day on the green pumpkin clickbait with the exopod, green pumpkin color. Uh, yeah, let's keep it going. God, dude, all right, man. Go check out his channel, see that catch. Epic, epic, epic. Right when we get here, clickbaits. I, I got a feeling it's about to get fired up for the sunset bite. Let me see if they want the shad. Got there we go. First one for me. In the boat. Let's go. Why do vloggers say in the boat when they're bank fishing? I don't even know, man. We like to go up in size on our new baits. We like to uh, start small and then to build up. So, you know, if we don't get a five pounder right off the bat, it's all good. All right, guys, so on these clickbaits, what I like to do is hold that rod tip down to the water, about a 45 degree angle as well. That way you feel those bites and you can really hammer it home. Also, you'll feel that vibration through the rod tip if you're holding it at a little bit of an angle. If you've got the rod like pretty much straight out, in other words, you wouldn't feel it. But now I go like this and I can feel that vibration that that blade is causing. So if you stop feeling that vibration throughout your retrieve, you probably got some grass on there and you want to just kind of pop that rod a couple times or give it a good solid whip and you'll get that grass off of there oftentimes, free it up, and then you'll start to feel that flutter again in the rod tip, and that's exactly what you want. You wanna make sure this thing is causing all that commotion that brings those fish in for the swipe. And usually these uh, sexy shad colors, especially with some chartreuse, is kind of reserved for more stained waters for me. So I wouldn't necessarily fish them in clear water like this, but it seems to be doing the trick. Generally speaking, I'd be throwing something like what Ryan's got, that green pumpkin. I'd say she's performing well, man. That's three fish in about 15 minutes. Just gotta find the right spot. Sometimes you gotta move ponds, man. They just don't hit at one. <sighs> Walk it down the street. I'm loving the clickbait though. Once again, y'all, if y'all haven't picked any of these up for yourself, they are going to sell out. It is Christmas time. People are buying them up. I saw an order on Lunker's story that someone placed for like 500 bucks worth of clickbaits. I mean, the things are selling, boys. So you gotta get in there. Luckily, they had some at the local field and stream. Oh, I just got swiped at. He's got it. He's got it. Back to back. 
These clickbaits, man, they'll bring home the giants. It's just a matter of weeding through some of these small ones, I'm telling you. If we keep casting along this bank, we are gonna get them. The benefit of this, you guys see I was talking about casting along the bank earlier, but this pond right here specifically is pretty shallow out quite a ways. So I can get away with casting out a little bit deeper and just bringing it in on that moderate retrieve. And there's, oh, another bite, but I missed him. Sometimes you get caught up in conversation. We are getting smacked on the clickbait. So yeah, the pond's a little bit shallower, a little bit further out, so I can get away with casting out deep and really just landing a lot of these fish. Also, since this water is pretty clear, even if it was five, eight feet deep in some of the areas I'm hitting, they're still seeing it because of the visibility and they're coming up and smacking it. So I'm not gonna say don't cast these out deep. I'm just gonna tell you that they're known for shallow water domination. Seems like what's been working pretty good in drawing these bass to, uh, to it actually is kind of like a burn, burn, pause retrieve too, I've noticed, because I've been kind of switching it up. Oh, I actually have one. There we go. There we go, this one's got a little bit of weight. He might be a pound and a half. <laughs> <laughs> All right, burn pause. Biggest one of the night, that's not saying much, but we're getting fish and having a good old time. Sometimes when you hit these urban city ponds, you're not expecting those five pounders like you might at the lake, but to catch fish is what we are after, and this thing is getting it done. So let's say you were at the big fish spot, you know this thing's gonna bring it home. Half ounce displayed on the head there, so you know exactly what weight you're rocking. Whoo, detail GS logo on the blade. <sighs> it don't get much better. Oh, I've, I've got a fish on. I've got a fish on. I didn't even feel it because I stopped the retrieve. Dude. <laughs> oh, what is going on? <laughs> Corona. The clickbait sucks, dude. This thing does not catch anything. What is going on out here? I thought I was going to buy this and catch something, not get skunked. I'm telling you, the real pause is like working pretty good, like a semi fast real pause. And they've been hitting it on the paws, so I didn't even realize that one because he hit it with the slack. Oh, God dang. Nice. That's what we call target practice, baby. Yeet. Probably a bad idea. I'll do it if you do it. Dude, this is the sickest spot ever. Wait a, wait a second. Wait a second. This is, oh my gosh. We got fish food, y'all. Oh, there, there they are. Top water hits, baby. Get in there. These fish just came alive. Got him. Got him. There we go. What do we have here? This one might be a little bit bigger. Oh yes. There we go, that's what we're after. There we go. This guy's chunky. That's closing on two pounds because of how fat this thing is. Oh my gosh, that is what we want right there. That might be one of the last ones of the night. All right, man, there you have it. In the urban spot, pulling out a little chunky one. Let's go. Clickbait, massive success, man. So pumped. There we go, back to back. They're hanging out over here. Got them. Nice. <laughs> wow, I said last one of the night, then I went for another cast in that same spot. Got them back to back. Nuts. There we go. Two for two. I don't even know how many fish I'm at. I'm at a decent number of fish right now. This is nuts. Sunset session, man. Ryan, time to go. That was awesome, man. That was quite hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. how you catch some fine. fish in 20 minutes after you're like, well, I don't know if a 20 minute drive is worth it. All right, y'all, cheers to an excellent episode. This one was filmed hours ago, edited this evening up for you guys. I really hope you enjoy it. I wanted to get it out there while the clickbait is still so new and you guys are looking for information on this product. I hope you dug the review. Hope you dug the tips, the tricks, the pointers, whatever you want to call them. And please check out my boy, Ryan Rigg. He is killing it over there on his Instagram page and on his YouTube channel. Absolutely gotta check him out, guys, and be looking out for the fire content we have coming your way, man. We've got so much in store for you guys. I can't wait for you to see it, but you gotta hit notifications if you wanna get alerted when they drop. Until then, peace. <gasps>